Hi, Captain Steve for BoatTest.com, and today I'm on a brand new boat from Yamaha, the 255 FSH Sport E. It's got a lot of innovative fishing features and family fun capabilities. Let's take a look as I do a full features inspection and performance evaluation. Of course, when I'm talking about serious fishing capabilities, it has to begin with a 111 gallon fuel tank so you can get to where the big fish are and get back. And what's gonna take you there? Twin 1.8 liter supercharged Super Vortex high output Yamaha Marine engines with a combined 500 horsepower. Now let's take a look at the features of the helm and this starts with a seven inch connected display and there's a lot of features with this. Let's get into some of them, starting with our tabs across the top, beginning with the home screen that has our tachometer and our speedometer. Next gives us our trip features, our acceleration curves, our sound connectivity, and our settings page. Of course, we also have our E-Series features that gives us our one button start stops, our single throttle levers, and the drive control speed and acceleration features that I already showed you on the Connect's touchscreen. There's a cell phone holder, and I'd like to see that be an inductive charger as well. Then there's a 12-inch Simrad display. The steering wheel has a steering knob, and it's mounted to a tilt base. Engine controls over to the side. I like that there are a row of electrical switches, and all of them are lighted when activated. It's a hard top overhead. Nice. Grab handles, and they all have finger knobs on the other side, making them very comfortable. Helm seat, comfortable with flip bolsters, and when the bolsters are in the up position, they're contoured. There's a place for a cooler, and down below, there's a flip footrest. And under the console, there's both a closed and open storage. Now, above the console, there's a rubberized dash with beverage holders to both sides, and I like that there's actual glass here, not isinglass or plexiglass. Fully forward, there's a flush-mounted hatch, with a rubberized non-skid coating. The hatch opens with a turn and lock latch. It's held open with a gas support strut. There's a notch in the front for the anchor road to pass through. Inside, there's a Danforth anchor held in place with anchor keepers. There's a center-mounted pull-up cleat fully forward. Notice how steps lead us up to the forward platform for bow and boarding. There's 543 gallons of total storage on this boat including this bow index storage compartment that also has dedicated storage for a five gallon bucket. The Yamaha 255 FSH Sport E has a length overall of 24 feet 6 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches and a draft of 22 inches. With the twin 250 horsepower 1.8 liter SVHO engines wound up to 7400 RPM, our speed topped out at 57.5 miles per hour. Best crews came in at 5,000 RPM and 31.2 miles per hour. At that speed, the 14.8 gallon per hour fuel burn translated into 2.1 miles per gallon and a range of 211 statute miles, all while still holding back a 10% reserve of the boat's 111 gallon total fuel capacity. She's quick off the line, reaching 30 miles per hour in six seconds. Okay, now let's get into the specific fishing features on this boat, of which there are a lot. It begins with a lag well in the aft quarter. There's an aft casting platform, a raw water wash down, between the rod storage under the gunnel, the vertical storage, and the vertical rod holders that go up through the T-top. There's 25 places to put rods on this boat. And notice the tool storage next to the vertical rod holders. There are spreader lights, both fore and aft. Plano tackle storage over in the starboard side. To the port side, there's another live well with a glass front to it so we can see the bait. A forward casting platform with an insulated fish locker to the starboard side. All of these areas are transitional so we can convert this boat to a family platform. We can remove the center of the casting deck so that we can have a table. Cushions can go on the sides and now we can have seats to both sides. Recessed grab handles are to both sides. Speakers are facing into the area. Padded bulwarks, and in the front are combination rod holder beverage holders. The forward half of the center console lifts and converts into a changing room or a head. There's a trash receptacle right next to the tackle storage, and there are padded combing bolsters. Cockpit depth is 33 inches. 
the aft platform, we can add cushions to that and make that into a seating area. And there's a section that lifts and converts into a seat back. And of course, what's a Yamaha without this classic multi-level transom? And I'm just now seeing these beverage holders are also combination rod holders. So that 25 rod holder number that I had previously, that's out the window. We're way beyond that now. Well, in my opinion, there seems to be an excellent combination of fishing features, family features, and power in the 255 FSH Sport E from Yamaha. And that's my full features inspection and performance evaluation. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.